I'd like to call to order this meeting of the City of Menasha Board of Public Works. Clerk Galeazzi, could you please take roll? Alderman Taylor? Here. Alderman Krautkramer? Here. Alderman Collier? Just in time. Yep. Alderman Zielinski? Here. Alderman Spencer? Here. Alderman Benner? Alderman Nichols? Here. Alderman Keehan has been excused. Thank you very much. Our first order of business is to approve the minutes from March 20th, 2017. Is there a motion? I'll make, I'll make, Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of March 20th, 2017. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries to council. Uh, we have several action items this evening, the first of which is a street use application for New Omnium, Saturday, May 13th, 2017, 8 a.m. to 8.30 for Diablo Cycling Club. Uh, Supervisor Montour, do we have all the documentation we need in insurance? Yes, I believe everything is in order. Thank you very much. Uh, are there any comments, concerns, questions for Supervisor? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve street use application, new Omnium, Saturday, May 13, 2017. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries the council. Second action item is street use application for the Memorial Day Parade, Monday, May 29th, 2017, 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., Twin Cities Veterans Association. Uh, again, Supervisor Montour, do we have everything checked off? Yes, I believe everything is in order. Excellent. Any questions for Supervisor Montour? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve street use application Memorial Day Parade, Monday, May 29th, 2017. Second. Motion to second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Motion carries to council. Uh, action item number three is a street use application for Midwest Sunsplash, Saturday, June 17th, 2017, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, that's Midwest Sunsplash. Uh, Supervisor Montour, can you give us a little information on what this activity is and then if we have all our I's dotted, T's crossed? To be honest with you, I wasn't involved in the, in the uh, uh, special event, <coughs> special event uh, meeting. Okay. So I'm not familiar with it at all. Thank you. Mayor, could you give us some information on this? Somebody up here? Zelensky. <laughs> uh, Chief Steika, thank you for uh, saying Sorry, that. I wasn't at the meeting either, but I am aware of it because we, uh, we actually had some changes with this as it was originally proposed. So I just want to clarify that. Perfect. The original uh, street use permit was actually being requested for going all the way down to Milwaukee Street. But based upon the time frame of the event, we did request that they limit it to just Main Street between Mill and Racine. Uh, what the event is actually going to be, it's going to be a road closure for most of the day. And it, it is a benefit to uh, benefit Youth Go. Uh, it's actually going to be kind of uh, some, some fun events that are going on in the street, different competitions, different uh, events that will go on during the day. And then at each end of the street, they're going to have a stage where bands are going to be playing. Uh, so basically, it's a big fundraiser for Youth Go, is the short version. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank I you. appreciate it. Are there any questions for Chief Steika? Alderman Taylor. I just had a question, uh, and the chief answered it. It did say on, on their sheet here that it was between two stages between Racine and Milwaukee Street, so I'm glad he clarified it in the map says Mill Street. Uh, the third item down, people sharing their life stories and meeting each other on a diversity walk, run, ride to celebrate the trail that, that loops the lake, joining our communities in a seamless path. Is there a walk, run? I didn't see anything uh, about that. Yeah, there's no walk, run that, that uh, would be specific as far as any sort of street closure or like a 5K that's associated with the event. And whether they're doing like a, a, a sidewalk walk uh, or and over the bridge and, and back around, that's certainly possible, but nothing that's going to require any sort of additional okay. street closure. I just didn't, I didn't want to miss out on any street use applications if they were going to have that. Yes, my understanding is it is only Main Street between Mill and Tennessee. You betcha. Thank you. Any further questions, comments, concerns? Then I'll entertain a motion to approve. And make a motion to approve the oh, street. Hold on. <laughs> that's you. Go ahead. Do you have it? Alderman Collier. 
I make a motion to approve street use application Midwest Sun Splash Saturday, June 17, 2017. 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Midwest Splash. Second. Motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Motion carries the council. Uh, action item number four is approval of final resolution uh, R-06-17 authorizing public improvement and levying special assessments against benefited property. That's for Silver Birch Estates, introduced by yours truly. Uh, Supervisor Montour, can you give us some information on that project? Please. Uh, the Silver Birch Estates this year is part of our contract 217-2, um, our uh, street reconstruction and construction contract. Uh, Silver Birch Estates, we will pulverize the existing pavement that's out there. Um, put in new concrete curb and gutter, new four inch asphalt pavement, uh, restore the terraces, restore the driveways if the driveways were originally put in as per uh, city specifications. It is an accessible project back to the, to the abutting property owners. Excellent, thank you. Are there any questions for supervisor? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve. Alderman Benner. Uh, Alderman Collier, go ahead. I make a motion. I make a motion to approve R0617 final resolution authorizing public improvement and leveling special assessment against Benefield property, Silver Birch Estates, introduced by Alderman Krug Kramer. We have a motion. Is there a second? Any discussion, comments, questions, concerns? Let's take a roll call vote, seeing none. Well, she carried on roll call 7-0. Our last action item is an intergovernmental agreement with the city of Appleton for street lighting at Oneida Street and Midway Road. Supervisor Montour, can you give us some information on that as well? This was brought to my attention by the city of Appleton. Uh, apparently there was ongoing discussions between the city of Menasha and the city of Appleton um, back uh, as early as 2015 uh, regarding uh, getting into an intermunicipal agreement um, with them. City of Appleton would be the lead agency in it. Um, they would be, and I attached the map that would uh, show what street lights they would be responsible uh, or the city of Appleton would be responsible for installing them, maintaining them, and uh, the city of Menasha would pay for the installation of the four uh, that would be in the city of Menasha and we would pay the, uh, the uh, per month rate on those four street lights. Um, any, uh, and it's all spelled out in the agreement. If there's any damage that uh, 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 car accident or something like that, the city of Appleton would maintain, would replace, and anything would be billed back to the city if they were in the, the four that were in the city of Menasha. There was a, another light uh, further west on uh, Midway Road that actually was not in the city of Menasha, but it was originally thought to be in the city. That's actually in the village of Fox Crossing. I reached out to uh, Fox Crossing to see if they would uh, entertain uh, getting into the agreement as well, and I have not. I, I gave them all the information um, with Mike Hardy over at uh, City of Appleton, and I have not heard if they if they are um, going to participate with that one street light or not. Um, but these would be just the four in the city of Menasha that we would be responsible for. Excellent. Thank you very much. Any questions for Supervisor? Then I'll entertain a motion to approve. Mr. Alderman Chairman, Taylor. I'll make a motion to approve uh, intergovernmental agreement with the city of Appleton for street lighting at Oneida Street and Midway Road. Second. Motion a second. Any discussion? Attorney Captain, is are there two agreements? Is that it? Just the one? No, I believe there's just the one. If 
um, if I can make a recommendation on paragraph 414, so uh, 4.14, the indemnification. Uh, it's indicating that Menasha agrees to indemnify, defend, and hold a harmless Appleton unless, um, uh, except were caused by the sole negligence of Appleton. If that could, uh, if they could have a, a subsequent paragraph that says, for good and valuable consideration, Appleton agrees to indemnify us, uh, I think it should go both ways, particularly since we're not really doing anything. <laughs> They're the ones that are doing the work. So that would be my recommendation, that there be an additional paragraph and it says just the opposite, where Appleton is indemnifying us. Go ahead, Alderman Nichols. I'll offer that paragraph as an amendment to the, to the motion. All right, we have an amendment to add a paragraph that to 414 that would, are we indemnifying Appleton or Appleton indemnifying Menasha? <laughs> uh, it would be, it would be the same paragraph. Okay. Uh, except where it says Menasha, Appleton would be in, Inserted okay. and Appleton where it agrees says, to identify. Correct. And then okay. where it says Appleton Menasha would be inserted. So it would be the exact same language, it's just it applies the other way. Okay, so we have an amendment. Do we have a second? Sir. And a second. All right. Any further discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, let's take a vote on the amendment. Well, she carried on roll call seven zero. Okay, now we need to take a vote on the motion as amended. Any questions, comments, concerns on that? All right, take a roll call vote, please. Well, she carried on roll call seven zero. And I believe our work is done here for the City of Menasha Board of Public Works for this evening, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion a second. All in favor? Opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you very much. Broadcasts of the City of Menasha Administration Committee, Board of Public Works, and Common Council meetings are produced by University Studios of the University of Wisconsin Fox Valley. Menasha residents and interested parties can obtain information about these meetings and meeting agendas from the City website www.cityofmenasha-wi.gov. Expression of opinions regarding City of Menasha issues or about these broadcasts can be made by contacting the Mayor's Office, 920-967-5117. Contacting their City Alderman. Contact information appears on the website. Completing the electronic feedback form on the website. All public portions of the meetings are recorded in entirety and are not edited for playback.